you are welcome to PCN YouTube channel. A channel where you watch edifying contents. But please, before you continue with this interesting and inspiring movie, I have like two or three questions to ask you. One, have you subscribed to this YouTube channel? Two, have you pressed the notification bell so that you can receive updates of our new content? And lastly, do you used to like our movies? You mean you have not done any of this? Why? What are you waiting for? It doesn't cost you anything. Yes, it doesn't cost you anything. So please, before you continue with this movie, kindly do those things I ask of you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Press the notification bell. Share the movies with your loved ones. Drop your comment and like our videos. And lastly, if God leading your heart to be part of what we are doing by sowing a financial seed, yeah, we appreciate that. And you are free to go ahead. God bless you. So, continue with your movie. Thank you. Destroyers from the unknown world. Destroyers from the unknown world. The price for the life of your children has been paid to our boss. Therefore, bring them out now. your brother he's in his room get him for me These two gentlemen said their boss have an assignment for you. Follow them. Assignment? What's the nature of the work? I do not know. 
Who is their boss? And where are they from? Or oh, are they your business partners? Ben, I do not have a single answer to all of your questions. Mom, you don't know who they are. You don't even know where they came from, let alone the nature of their work. And you're supposed to follow them just like that. Mommy. Hey, you ask too many questions. Move. I said move. Mommy, say something now. Move. Mommy. Mommy. Careful and prayerful so that this evil dream will not come to fulfillment over your family. Mommy Debbie, we have to make sure the ways of your children and the kind of life they are living is in accordance with the word of God. Proverbs 22, verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, it will not depart from it. Thank you very much, Pastor, for your love and uh, concern for my family. I'm very grateful. Very good. And God will help you. Amen. Ma, based on the instruction the Holy Spirit gave me when I woke up from my dream, I would like us to observe three days fasting and prayers so that the devil will not have an opportunity over your family. And it will be very good if Ben and Debbie join us in this spiritual fight against the forces of darkness. So, which of the days do you prefer and the venue for the prayer? Should we hold the prayer here in the church? Or in your house. Pastor, I thank you very much for your love and concern for my family. But for these prayers and fasting, I would suggest that we leave the children out of it. The reason being that um, Debbie and Ben will be sitting for their second semester exam next month. And I want them to be able to focus and concentrate on their studies so that they will come out with flying colors. I, I do not joke with their studies at all. And you know how much it costs for a family to have two children in a very good university in this country. Okay, let's put the children aside. After all, our duties as a parent is to protect our children from physical and spiritual attacks. So, where should we start? Pastor, you said three days prayers and fasting. And I, I have a business trip to China and Dubai. So, I will not be able to um, carry out those prayers and fasting. And beside, Pastor, I cannot fast for three hours, not to talk of three days. Eh? Ah, hey. 
and uh, my doctor had warned me very seriously not to joke with my stomach. Ah, <clears throat> it was a very serious word, you know. Uh, so I won't be able to um, be part of that uh, prayer. Pastor, but Pastor, the Lord is your strength. He will, he will give you strength to do it for us. Eh? Yes. Eh? Okay, Pastor. Um, if you don't mind, please, can you have this? Please, have this uh, token. Just 200,000. Just for biscuit for the children. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, ma. Keep your money. Pastor, are you angry with me? No, I just don't feel like taking it. The children have enough biscuit and cheese for in the house. The children have enough biscuit and cheese ball in the house. for me at any other time. Please do not hesitate to call me. Thank you, Thank you Pastor. Good afternoon, Ma. And you, where are you going? Um, Ma, today is the youth house to house evangelism. And since Sister Debbie didn't come to church on Sunday, I have come to invite her for the evangelism. Um, by six o'clock in the evening, we should be back. Debbie, is that true? Yes, Mommy. Dear you, <laughs> how can you leave my house without my permission? Have I not warned you that if you don't have anything to do with your time, lock yourself in the room and sleep? I sent you to the university to become a medical doctor, not a pastor or, or an evangelist. And you, which school are you? I I finished my secondary school three years ago, but I am I'm yet to make my jump. Oh, you can't make it. Ah. No, 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 you don't need a prophet to tell you you can't make it. Yes, you can't make it because you're not serious. The time you're supposed to use to study and make something beautiful out of your life, you're using it for stupid activities, you're using it for foolish activities. Debbie. Can you see your life? A 200 level medical student studying to become a medical doctor, playing and walking around with a secondary school leaver. You this nonentity and no future ambition. An empty head. <laughs> I thought birds of the same feather flock together. Someone with no future ambition, NFA. Now, will you get out of my house and never let me see you again in this house? Mommy, mommy. Debbie, why are you crying? Mom, what happened to her? Ben, where are you coming from? You two take different fellowship. Old every second and last Friday of the month. And since I have nothing doing at home, I decided to attend. Mom, the president's message was powerful. Will you keep your mouth shut? How many times have I warned you that your free period is not for church activities? But mommy, keep quiet. Nonsense. You don't talk when I'm talking. Nonsense.
and you. Let this be the very last time you will step your feet in my house. Have I made myself clear? You this no entity, no future ambition. Empty head. Get out of here. Look at her. Francis. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Where on earth were you when this nonsense walked into this house? I do not want to see her in this house again. Never. Have I made myself clear? Get out of this place. Yes, ma. What has this house become? Um, did you tell mom we are coming here? Tell me. <sighs> okay. Sorry for keeping you waiting. As I was saying, Ben, I noticed that nowadays, you and your sister don't attend church programs anymore. Even the Sunday service that you attend once in a while. You always come in when the service is getting to an end. Janet informed me that it is getting to two months now that you have attended your campus fellowship. Ben. Debbie, you both loved God and served Him faithfully when your father was alive. What has come over both of you? Where is your first love for God? Ma, it wasn't our joy to withdraw from serving God and fellowship with other children of God. But it's it's our mother wants it. And we have no option than to follow our wish. We have no option now. You mean your mother stopped both of you from following the way of the Lord? Train up your child in the way they should go. Just like a Samuel was brought to the temple just to sell. Children are precious. They are the apple of God's eyes. If you fail to train them, it is a missing target. Missing target. Missing target. You can't score any. No, 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 no. Missing target. Once you miss the lane, the time to score, the time to is, score over is over. Target. You can't score any goal. Time to score is over. Once you miss the lane, the time to score is over. You are a warrior, a warrior, a mighty man, a mighty man. The heritage of the Lord in your hands are your arrow. So don't waste your chance waste your to, selfishness. to selfishness. The fulfillment of your destiny lies in your hands. Remember, you will surely give a chance. You will give a chance. Excuse me, man. No problem. Hello, Mom. I'm sorry, Ma. No, Ma, we are not in the church. We are in Mommy's house. She invited us over for a discussion. Yes, Pastor's wife. No, Ma, she's not discussing church issue with us. She's only trying to make us know the importance of school activities apart from lecture. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. Ben, mom said both of us should meet her at the filling station right now. Uh, mommy, as you can see, I need to leave now. 
Mom, they be just walk into my room just now and told me what my ears could not believe. And what's that? She said you told us to stay back at home. Yes, I did. Today is Sunday. As Christians, we need to go to church. Ben, but you told me that yourself and your sister, you have a test tomorrow. So, sit down at home and read your books. Mom. Going to church does not disturb our exams, neither the test, Mom. Mom, I promise, after coming back from church, we'll sit back at home and face our books. Okay, Mom, I promise. Ben, I have given my words. You stay at home and do your study. I'll do all the prayers for you. Mom, Mom, this is unfair. This is not our train us all before he died. children in the way of the Lord cause they are a blessing a blessing a blessing to many generations once you miss your target you cannot recover you can never recover missing target help me Lord not to miss my target missing target help me to Give me the wisdom to train up my children. Give me the grace to train up my child in the way of the Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Vanessa, I don't understand why you want that small rat called Debbie to belong to our group. We are not into kids' game. The game is for the strong and big girls. Funky, relax your muscles. I have my plans. I may ask, what are your plans? Bringing Debbie into our group will seriously help us and be of great advantage to us. How? Firstly, our mother is very rich and highly connected. Our mother's connection and influence will help us to stay connected with top people in our society and even have access to some places where real guys belong. Secondly, she is very brilliant. Moving with her will enhance our academic performance. Bravo! Bravo! What a brilliant idea. You have a point. I tell you. Please, get in touch with her. I have something to discuss with her. No problem. Have you done Professor Adelami's assignment? Mm -hmm. Oh, let's go there. mother are you? What examples are you laying down for those kids? Or what you care about is traveling, business, education, party, flying all over the countries. You never care as a mother to give those students home training, let alone bringing them in the way of the Lord. Uh, uh, the house help is there. You are also there. And the church can train them in the way of the Lord. Yeah? All I have to do is work very hard. And good morning. And then we can pay the house help. We can pay tight. You know, pay their school fees. Ah. Can you hear yourself? A responsible housewife. A mother for that matter. Pushing her first responsibility to the outsider. Uh-huh. Just in the name of making money. Honey, when have you become an outsider to your own children? No, when have you become strangers to them? Excuse me. Me, I'm very tired and I need some sleep. And remember, tomorrow the driver is not going to be here. And you will have to take me to the airport by 7.30 a.m. Please, I need to go and have some sleep. Excuse me. Can you hear yourself? I hope you will not regret this action of yours. Train up your child in the way they should go Just like a Samuel was brought To the temple just to sell children are precious They are the apple of God's eyes oh, yeah. If you fail to train them, it is a missing turn Children, children Children, children Doctor tomorrow Lawyer 
tomorrow. Yes, um. Nice makers. Fighters tomorrow. No, um. Pilot tomorrow. Yes, um. We are going to take our son. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. 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 Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day. If you want to grow. Read your Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day. If you want to grow. If you want to grow. If you want to grow. Read Bible. Pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible. Pray every day if you want to grow. You are a warrior, a warrior, a mighty man, a mighty man. The heritage of the Lord in your hands are your arrow. So don't waste your chance to selfishness. The fulfillment of your destiny lies in your hands. Remember, you will surely give a You will give account. Don't give room to the devil. Don't give Cause his mission to is to steal, kill, steal, and, kill destroy. and destroy. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. 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 Pastor, Pastor, my grandson must not die. This is not the plan of God for me. There is power mighty. In the blood, there is power mighty. In the blood, there is power mighty. In the blood of Jesus Christ, there is power mighty. In the blood, there is power mighty. In the blood, there is power mighty. In the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. My Lord Jesus Christ, my Father is to teach us that if we believe in your name, mountains will move at our command. Father, I command every spirit of death in able to get out now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Fulfillment of their destiny lies in your hands. Remember, you will surely give a kill. Give a oh, that party, eh? Bobo, Bobo. what thing they do this guy now? It's Italian gold, pure Italian gold, worth 1.5 million naira. You want 10? Okay, no problem. That will be 15 million naira. Uh-uh. Hajia, I know you are worth more than that. Okay, you can take 500,000. Yeah, to get recharge cards for your phone. Oh, I'm just paying to any of my accounts that you have. Later.
latest next week Friday, my staff will deliver the goods to you. Oh, thank you very much, Ajia, for the great business. Um, greet your family. Thank you very much. Yeah, bye-bye. Pastor, I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. It's all right, Ma. Um, I just had to make those business deals and place those important calls. I'm so sorry. It's all right, Ma. Thank you very much for your understanding. Actually, I came to visit and pray for the family and find out why you and your children refused to attend church for the past three months. Hmm. Thank you very much, Pastor. And thank you for your concern and love. My inability to attend church in the last three months was not intentional. Several of my friends have very important events and programs that I had to be a part of. Yeah, I had to go to Abuja, Potakot, and Calabar um, because all of the planning and preparations for this event were resting on my shoulders. I had to go to Dubai to get all the materials that they were going to use for those events. I had to make contact with musicians and good caterers so that our friends in Nigeria and abroad will be well taken care of. Three weeks ago, sir, I had to go to Abuja for the wedding ceremony of my friend's daughter. It was a fantastic wedding program. And last week, I was in Uniport for the convocation ceremony of Mrs. Emeka's son. The young man came out with first class. <laughs> and next week, sir, um, I will be in Calabar for the Saints for party for one of my son's friends who is relocating to the United States of America. And shortly thereafter... Uh, Mrs. Johnson, that is all right. Do you mean Ben Adebi also traveled with you to attend all these uh, occasions? Oh, no. No, sir. You know I won't do that. How will they, how will I allow them to be traveling with me all around for all of these parties at the expense of their education? Uh, no, sir. What party? A night party, of course. Wait, make I follow this guy talk. Ben, see, you can't afford to miss this glamour party party. The son of Senator Badmos and the first daughter of our noble state governor. We grace the event. Don't let us come and be telling you stories. You have to witness this, my guy. Oh boy, this man has arranged for beautiful ladies that will make the party a blissful one. But guys, what will I tell my mom? Ah! Ah! Hey, what about me? Lie, she, Coco. Lie, she, Coco. Your mom, tell her anything. I mean anything. Oh boy, you deform my hand. Big time. Come on. Wake up. You be kid. Come on. And for your information, the governor's daughter has paid for one of the best hotels in town. So, you have 100% security. See this guy. Bang! But they have abandoned God by refusing to attend fellowship. Hmm. But Mrs. Johnson, why? Um, Pastor, you know I've been away for three months and my driver is not available to take them to church. I personally instructed them not to go to church. It would be so ridiculous seeing my children mixing with other children in commercial vehicles. And no, no, I can't do that. That means they've not been going out 
for the past three months. Ah, uh -uh. why not? I thought you just said your driver also traveled with you. And your children cannot join a commercial vehicle like other children. Um, you know, Pastor, as soon as I understood I was going to be away for like three months, I made an arrangement with my friend's driver to take the children to whichever event they like to attend. Um, you know, I, I place a high premium, a high value on my children's education. And whatever is going to support their understanding and thinking, particularly as a 21st century child, I don't play with it. Okay. So that same driver that takes them out for social activities cannot as well bring them to church once in a week. Oh, sorry, Pastor. I'm just seeing this text from um, Senator Batmore's wife. She would like me to supply stone lace, gold, bags and shoes for a wedding ceremony. Um, I'm sorry, I will have to rush out now to meet up with her. She's presently in a meeting um, with some of our friends and that's where they will take a decision. Uh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you on this issue. Thank you very much, sir. Um, thank you for coming. Children are precious. They are the apple of God's eyes. If you fail to train them, it is a missing target. Missing target. Missing target. You can score any. No, 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 no. Missing target. Once you miss the lane, the time to score the time is to over score target. target. You can score any goal. The time to score is over. Once you miss the lane, the time to score is over. The heritage of the Lord in your hands are you are own. So don't waste your chance to selfishness. The fulfillment of your destiny lies in your hands. Remember, you will surely give up. You will give up. Don't give room to the devil. Cause his mission is to still kill and destroy. It is true that your mother makes it very difficult for you to love God and follow his ways. But don't lose your salvation because of her. Debbie, don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. Don't move with bad friends. Remember, evil communication corrupts good manner. Debbie, it is not your fault. God sees your heart and he knows that you desire to serve him. But your mother is the one hindering you from pleasing God. If your mother does not allow you to work with the company of believers, then work with other companies available around you at home and in school. Remember the scripture that says, Children, obey your parents. Children, obey your parents in the Lord and not in the flesh. That is what the scripture says. Remember on the judgment day, your mother will not stand for you, neither will you stand for her. Everyone will stand to receive his or her own judgment, and there is no excuse in heaven, because there is no repentance of sin in the grave. Proverbs 22 verse 6 says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Your mother has shown you the way she wants you to tread on. Do not depart from it because if you do, then you are deliberately sinning against your maker. 
Debbie. There is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end of it is a way of destruction. Debbie, the path your mother asked you to tread on is the path of destruction. Why are you treading on the path of death? The fact remains that your mother truly loves you from the depth of her heart, and that is why she's giving you and your brother a very good education and a lot of privileges to enjoy life. Debbie, come to think of it, how many young girls of your age enjoy the kind of privileges your mother is giving you. You have enough money in your bank account. You have a lot of dresses, bags, and shoes in your wardrobe that you have not even used for once. What else do you need? Remember, an opportunity lost can never be regained. Debbie, make a while the sun shines. Remember your creator in the days of your youth, when the evil time has not come. By right, I am not fit to school here, but the mercies of God opened door for me. I was given a scholarship to study in this great university where the sons and daughters of great people in the country study and thereafter have my master's degree in Canada. This is what only God can do in the life of anyone who follows this way. Debbie, please don't go that way. The end of it is destruction. Hmm. For the fact that your mom does not allow you to live for God is not an excuse for you to tread in the path of destruction. Remember Romans chapter 8, which says, Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Hey, Debbie, what are you doing with this JJC? Florence or whatever her name is. She's not in our class. Debbie, it's high time you uplift your standard. I know the kind of girls you associate yourself with in this school. For crying out loud, we are in 300 level. And she just gained admission into the school. So tell me. What do we have in common? There is a big gap between us. Moreover, she is not our type. Can't you see? She is too religious. Miss Fresher, I want you to disappear like a smoke in the sky now. Leave, you this imbecile. Where are you going? 
we are going to school to prepare for fourth coming exam. Night class. Since when did you people start attending night classes? Pen, you are in your final year as an engineering student, and you, 300 level student. This is the first time you are going to be asking to go for a night class. Yet, you are always one of the best in your various departments. I hope you people are not trying to sneak out to attend a night vigil. No, mommy, we are not going to church. Oh. Mommy, see, there is one general course that all students will write, and the prof that is taking the course has refused to attend class and has even failed to give us an doubt. The only thing he said is that we should go on it and search for materials. Mommy, see, in the last two sessions, over 70% students failed to course. But luckily for us, one of my friend's Zedes brother, who happens to be one of the best students in the course, just came back from his national youth service two days ago and has promised to help us by taking us through tutorials. Since most of our colleagues that we write the exam stays in the um, hostel, that was why we fixed the venue for um, school. That was what happened though. Debbie. But you people should have informed me ahead of time. In the list, I will have asked the driver to stay behind, take you to school, and stay with you all through the night class. Eh, hey, mommy see, actually what happened is that we ought to write the exam on Friday. But our friend living in the hostel called to inform us that it has been shifted to Monday. And then my friend that I talked about now begged his brother to spare this night for us by taking us through tutorials. So that was what happened though. Yes, that, that's true. Okay, you can go with the small car, but please drive carefully. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> Debbie, what's in your bag? I have a feeling something something is hidden in your bag. Uh, mommy, I'm a kid that you'll be checking my bag. Um, uh, I don't want my uh, there's something in my bag. I don't want my brother to see. Ah, uh, oh, oh! I clap for you too. <laughs> I cry for you both. That secret you guys are keeping, it will be open very soon. Hey, wait for that time. <laughs> the two of you, you have just refused to grow up. Girl is keeping us late. By now, we should be at the club. Oh, stop bothering yourself. She will soon join us. Hey, girls. I am sorry for taking your time. Debbie, we deal with time in this business. By now, those small girls would have used their hook to take the big fishes out of the river. Don't worry. It's all right. Our whole fish will surely wait for our worm. Because our hooks are very sophisticated. 
We cannot miss the target. So girls, relax your mind. Funky, I am really sorry for taking your time. My brother and I needed to practice the code you girls gave to us before approaching my mom. As you know, my mom is very intelligent. But the moment we mailed the code to her, she fell flat for <laughs> it. And where is your brother? He has gone to meet his friends. We'll meet tomorrow morning so we can go home together. Hmm. So, won't you change for the night class you told your mom? <laughs> night class indeed. <laughs> Hello, we are sorry. In the next 15 minutes, we'll catch up with you guys. For sure, we are coming with full force. Tell your friends to take good care of us. The only language we understand is money. Okay? Girls, club has done the bubbles. Yes, yes so. Guys are missing us badly. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. When the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. Train up your children in the way of the Lord, cause they are a blessing, a blessing, a blessing to many generations. Once you miss your target, you cannot recover. The man you are playing against is more professional and smarter than you. Hand over the game to me and let me help you win. Old man, I know how to play this game. I have gathered experience over the years. So I know I'm going to win. The more you keep playing this game on your own, the more you are missing the target. Time is not on your side. The game will soon end. Do not allow this man to win the game. Shooting at the wrong direction and aiming at the wrong target. Woman, turn to the right and your efforts will be appreciated. Why don't you allow these arrows to fulfill their original purpose? Woman, stop this wasteful adventure. Woman, why are you doing this wasteful adventure? 
Ah, woman? Woman! Why are you shouting at her? Ah, Papa, can't you see that she's wasting the arrows? And shooting the arrows into the fire. And the more she's shooting the arrows into the fire, the more the fire is consuming the arrows. She's just been foolish. Baba, please stop her. Why are you complaining bitterly about yourself? Are you not the one shooting your precious arrows into the fire? No, Baba. That, that is not me. I am not a foolish woman. How will I be shooting my arrows into the fire? Uh, no, Baba. That is not me. Foolish woman. What happened? I am confused. Why is she... As arrows are important in the hands of the warrior, so are children in the hands of God. God expects you as a mother to point your children into the right direction. But you have decided to point them at the wrong direction by shooting them into the fire. Woman, why are you missing the target? You are supposed to guide and lead them into the fulfillment of God's purpose for their life. Instead, you refuse them from fulfilling the divine counsel of God concerning their life. Cause of your selfish ego. God gave Samuel to Anna and Anna returned him back to God. Woman, why did you refuse your children to go back to God and walk in his way? Woman, you are so foolish to have forgotten that you are not the rightful owner of the arrows in your hand. God, and trusted them under your care. And one day, you shall account for them.
Dear, you have left the brethren for the past 10 minutes now. And any moment from now, it will be your turn to lead us into another section of prayer. Why are you looking sad? What is disturbing you? My dear, as we were praying, I saw a revelation. Did you remember the dream I shared with you concerning Mrs. Johnson and her children? Yes, I do. My dear, it was a very terrible end. Jesus Christ. Dear, what will you do now? Hmm. I don't even know. In fact, for the past 10 minutes, I've been trying a number. But a number is not going through. Please, dear, join brother in the church. I have to go to Mommy Debbie's house right away. Dear, this is already past 2 a.m. Everybody knows you are ministering immediately after the worship section. How would you explain to the brethren? Dear, why can't we make use of this opportunity to stir up the heart of the brethren in the VG to pray for the family of Mrs. Johnson? Hmm. You are right. You are right. Ma, good morning. Francis, what is good about this morning? Ma, about 9 o'clock this morning, two men came to look for you. I thought you were resting due to the occasion you went for last night. And that was the reason why I told them that you are not reachable. They later identified themselves as police officer. This is their message. And you told them I'm not available? Francis, what is wrong with you? You just don't have anything in your brain. Yes, ma. Huh? Ah. Eh. Hey, I'm in trouble. Ma. Trouble as how? Francis, get me the driver now and tell Dorcas to bring my scarf, my bag. Can't you move? Driver! Dorcas to bring my bag and my scarf. Hello? Something is wrong with you? Can't you put all of this together? Oh God, this man's call is empty. Eh. DPO. I'd like you to know that money is not my problem. I'll give any amount for you to help me stop this case at this level. I don't want my son to go to jail. DPO, please, you have to help me. Madam, you are in a hopeless situation and there's nothing I can do to help you out. 
Armed robbery and murder are very serious cases. Moreover, the statement of the eyewitness and the camera mounted inside the house that the operation was carried out shows that your son shot the woman and she died instantly. Ma, the woman in question happens to be a minister's wife. In fact, the case file has been sent to the hygiene Abuja. The other two boys exchanged bullets with my men, so they lost their lives. Madam, your son said he has something to tell you. Probably I should put a call through to the high PO. Hello. Bring Ben, one of the criminals in cell four. Thank you. There is nothing I can do. I would have helped if I have the opportunity to. Here they are. <sighs> Mom, I regret you gave birth to us. It would have been better you have aborted our pregnancy right from our childhood. Dad laid our foot to the way of the Lord. Papa is dead. You pushed us out and dragged us to the ways of the devil. You ban us from making friends with the children of God, <laughs> believing that they have no future. It's no care about the company of friends who keep in a spot that did not lead us to church. <laughs> the only thing that matters to you is your business and our education. <laughs> Truly, <laughs> you gave us everything we needed. But you took away from us the most important thing a child needs in life, which is God. Which is God. You pushed us to open the door of our heart to the devil. Ah. <laughs> Mom, you are crying? It's not time for you to cry. Because the calamity has not befallen you yet. <laughs> I'm sad to tell you that your only son became an armed robber and a drug addict instead of an engineer. And your only daughter became a campus prostitute instead of a medical doctor. <laughs> Our dying souls don't forgive you for destroying our lives and ruining our dreams and destiny. Ben, I'm truly sorry. Please forgive me. Please calm down. God is in full control. Let us keep on praying and trusting Jesus for divine intervention. How is she? Hey, doctor, how is she? How is she? Please calm down. Are you the mother of the lady that was rushed here early this morning from the hotel? Yes, she's my daughter. She's my daughter, doctor. Please, doctor, what is the sickness all about? Actually, 
we don't have the details of what happened to your daughter. But the sign we saw shows that the problem she has is not, is not ordinary. It seems she has a spiritual problem that is beyond medical knowledge. Well, this lady is the hotel receptionist. I think she should be in the best position to explain what actually happened to your daughter. We got your contact through the cell phone we found in her bag. Okay, young lady. Oh, talk now! Please talk. We are listening to you. Around 9 p.m. yesterday, a young man brought her to our hotel and they booked overnight. Two hours later, the guy came to meet me at the reception and he demanded that I tell him where you can get to your meet. I described the place to him and he left. When it was 12 a.m., I told the security man to lock the gate. Hoping that when he comes around, he's going to call us. But I never set my eyes on him till I left the hotel this morning. Few hours ago, my colleague that I handed over to called me that the lady I lodged in room 105 is. You are a warrior, a warrior, a mighty man, a mighty man. The heritage of the Lord in your hands are your arrow. So, so don't, don't waste your chance, waste your chance to, selfishness. to selfishness. The fulfillment of your destiny lies in your hands. Remember, you will surely give account. You will give account. Don't give room to the devil. Don't give Cause his mission to is to steal, to kill, steal, and, kill destroy. and destroy. So train up your child in the way of the Lord. Lead them through the path of righteousness. And grace shall be your grace peace. Shall be your peace. Children are a gift from the Lord. From the Lord. Eh? Jesus Christ. Ah! Oh. Jesus Christ. Pastor, I'm finished. Debbie has, has killed me. I gave this girl more than whatever she could need. What else was she looking for? Eh? What was Debbie looking for? Oh, I gave them money. Debbie and Ben, I gave them freedom to enjoy their lives. Now, Debbie has killed me. Ben has equally ruined my life and my reputation. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I, I ruined my life. I pulled down my home. With my hands, I destroyed everything I've ever labored for. <sighs> I opened the door of my home to the devil and threw my children into the dark world. <sighs> Truly, I am a foolish woman who aimed her arrows at the wrong target. Jesus. I missed the target. I'm finished. <sighs> doctor. Doctor, doctor. Doctor. Excuse me, please. Calm down, please. Miss it again. Once you miss the lane, you will miss it the all. Miss it again. You have to wake up from your slumber and train up your child. Miss job. it again. The miss it again. As a steward, you will surely give account. 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 You will give account when the purpose of the thing is not known.
Doctor, how is she? How is she? We tried our possible best, but we lost her. You, 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 you lost her? You lost her? <laughs> you lost her? Woman, God regretted on his gift in your hands. Behold, children are heritage from God. As arrow is important in the hands of a warrior, so are children in the hands of their parents. Wherever a warrior chooses, he sent his arrow to. What a child will become tomorrow lies in the hands of his or her parents. Parents are the guardians of their children. That is why God admonish every parent to train up their child in the way that they should go when they are still young. Why did you send the heritage of God into fire? When you know that you cannot raise them for God's glory, why did you ask for them? Remember, you and your husband received these children from God after nine years of waiting. Look at where you have sent the gift of God. me to hell? Why did you give birth to me for the expansion of hell? It splitted my heart as a young girl to live for God. I chose to walk in the ways of the Lord, but you injured me. You stopped me from pleasing God. <laughs> Mommy, it is a great loss for me that I came to the world through you. Ah, who will rescue me from the anger of God? Who will save me from the wrath of the living God? The pain and agony of hell is too much for me to bear. Mommy, you only claimed to love me, but you hated me, and that was why you sent me to hell. Mommy, I hate you with passion. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Please, please. Woman, God entrusted two children to your care. You have sent one to hell. The second one is waiting for death sentence on earth as a result of armed robbery and murder. Ben is preparing to face eternity without Christ. Woman, what is the assurance that the second gift will not end up here in hell? Woe unto he who received the gift of God in vain. Baba, please, please, please me. Go for mercy. I ask, I ask God to please have mercy on me. Baba, please help me beg God to, to, to have mercy on me. Mercy? Mercy and forgiveness is useless after death. Every parent shall stand before the judgment throne of God to give account of their stewardship on their children. Baba, have mercy, have mercy, Baba, have mercy, have mercy. 
Benjamin. You see, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 8, let me read. But God commanded his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinner, Christ died for us. He has arranged for your salvation, even since when you were still a sinner. He told that thief on the cross at Calvary that Today, though you die, you are going to meet with me in paradise. Jesus Christ is giving you that kind of opportunity again today. Give your life to him. He wants you to be saved. That is why he died for you. My brother, are you ready to give your life to Jesus Christ now? I'm ready. Oh, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fine. So, congratulations, my brother. Let me lead you in salvation prayer. Repeat these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. Please help me write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the book of life, Lord. I don't want to perish in the lake of fire. The missing target. As a steward, you will surely give account. 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 You will give account. When the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. Train up your children in the way of the Lord, cause they are a blessing, a blessing, a blessing to many generations. Once you miss your target. Solid was I God. You are welcome home. The Father and the Son are waiting for you at the palace. Daughter, weep no more. The reproach of barrenness has ended in your life. These two eggs belong to God. God has commanded me to hand them over to you. Watch over them with all diligence. Very soon, the Lord your God is coming for them. If you are found faithful at taking care of them, then the Lord your God shall reward you. But if you fail, you will be condemned. this manuscript. This is the original plans of God concerning the two eggs in your hands. When they are harsh and grow, read the plans of God concerning their lives for them and guide them in fulfilling God's plan.
The fulfillment of their destiny lies in your hands. Remember, you will surely give a chance. You will give a Don't give room to the devil. Don't give Cause his mission is to steal, kill, and kill destroy. So train up your child in the way of the Lord. To the path of righteousness, and grace shall be your grace peace. shall be your peace. Children are a gift from the Lord. From the Lord yeah. They are a real blessing, just like arrows in the soldier hands. Happy is the man who has many such arrows. He will never be defeated when he meets his enemies in the place of judgment. Help me, Lord, Help me, Lord. as a parent, as not a to me the purpose of my creation. Ah, missing targets. Want to miss the lane? You will miss it all. The missing targets. The missing target. As a steward, you will surely give account. As a steward, you will surely give account. As a steward, you will surely give account. As a steward. You will surely give a count. You will give a count. When the purpose of a thing is not known, abuse is inevitable. Train up your children in the way of the Lord, cause they are a blessing, a blessing, a blessing to many generations. Words you miss your target, you cannot recover. You can never recall. Missing target. Help me, Lord, not to miss my target. Missing target. Help me, 
Give me the wisdom to take my